Hello from Teacher Toy Shop. Today I am going to show you how to make this pop-up model of the human eye. So when you're finished, it will look like this. I've covered, I've, I've filled in the answers, but I've covered them to um, not give them away. So here's the model of the human eye when it's complete uh, with the parts here. So let's get started on how to make this. You should have three pages of template. They look like this. Um, you, you may have the one, the color your own version, in which case obviously these will not be colored in. You'll be doing that yourself. And you should color them in first before um, cutting them out because it's a lot easier to do that. If you have the color your own version, then you'll only have one of these pieces since you'll be choosing your own eye color. To save time, I've already cut out most of the pieces here. I've left a few just to show you how it's done. Um, but okay, so one of the things you wanna do is to keep the key on hand um, so that you can pay attention to that as you're gluing and folding. Um, and then this piece here shows you how to fold these little boxes and fold and glue them. So definitely follow those directions to do that. Um, okay, so I've cut out and folded a bunch of them, but I will show you here what I've done just as an example. Um, so this one still needs to be, it's, I, I, I've obviously cut it out of the template page, but I still need to cut this part. Um, and if you remember how to do this, just fold it and make a little cut there, and then it's a lot easier to cut this piece out, which I will do. Okay. Okay, so that's um, cut out, and then again, follow the key to know where how to do your folds. So these dotted lines mean this is a valley fold right here in the center. So um, I'll just fold it like that. If you kind of have to fix as you go, that's fine. This is very forgiving as a model, so that part is fine. Um, let's see, get more or less. So I've got a valley, ah, I didn't do a great job with my valley fold there, but again, like I said, pretty forgiving. Um, okay, so that's the valley fold, and then these are mountain folds, just like this. Okay, so that piece is done. Okay, so, and like I said, I've done, I've done the others. These ones, um, they have these mountain folds, but you have to glue in the center. You just follow the directions where it says glue to the get together or glue on the back, which I have done. Um, and then, okay, so why don't we get started? This one, I've done a valley fold down the center. And then the first thing you do is you follow the order of the letters. So A is the first letter in the alphabet. It says glue A here. So this piece right here has A's on it. So I'm gonna take my glue. You can use any kind of glue or glue stick that you like, any kind of like school glue. You could use tape as well if you prefer actually to use tape. So A gets glued there. And then, um, okay, and then B, let's see. So B, and then you can see C and D are here, and it says glue B here, C and D there, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'll put, you can put the glue on, the, on this piece or on the back of that piece, however you want. Same thing here. And put the B down, and then D gets folded there. And I suppose I should have done C first because it comes first in the alphabet, but here it doesn't matter so much. So that's those two pieces. Ah, let's take a little pencil and try to get my hand in there to hold that down. 
Just let that dry for a second. Uh, okay. All right, and then I have glue, let's see, F and H there. You'll notice that E is actually on the top of F and G is on the top of H. So I'm gonna put some glue on H and some glue on F and goes one right there and oops did I just do that wrong I did H goes over here these are actually identical pieces so it doesn't really matter so much but let's do this right and There goes F. And then the way this is going to work is this big piece is going to sit on top. So you can see that E is going to go to E, G is going to go there. This J will glue here. And then this big I piece is going to glue down right there. So I'm going to go ahead and put glue on all of those pieces. You can see this actually comes together really quickly. And glue here and here. Okay. All right, so the G on top, like so, and then the E's, and J, and I. Okay. All right, so then the next pieces we have are these here. Um, so you can see this says glue, L is gonna go there, and K goes here. I'm actually gonna start with K, so I'm not completely following my order of the alphabet. No, I am, I guess. K is before L, that's a little embarrassing. Okay, so that's gonna go there. And now with this one, which goes in front, um, this is the cornea, and um, to represent that it's clear, we're actually gonna use some clear tape. Um, and put it in front of the hole. So um, the cornea is the, the front of your eye. It forms a protective layer, um, clear protective layer in front of your eye. So we're gonna do this. I'm actually gonna put the tape a little bit above the M here because you'll see those cubes get glued behind. Um, and that's actually how I'm gonna try to stop the tape above the M there um, so that it's easier to glue the cubes on to hold up these pieces. So I've left some non-tape spot right there, which is which I advise doing. Okay, so now I've got tape on here, and this clear part represents the cornea. I mean, the whole thing is the cornea, but the tape is here as kind of, as a model to remind you that this is um, completely clear. Okay, so I put some glue right here. And then these little cubes are to help support the pieces um, when you open and close this a lot to help um, keep them popping up. So we'll put a little bit of glue here. You can see there's actually a mark for the M piece here. And then I'm gonna put one more between the lens and the iris. to try to push that down. And hold those in place. Um, and that is actually pretty much it. Um, you can, you, the, you've built the eye now, and then what you can do is follow the um, instruction, or excuse me, look at the numbers and figure out what um, each eye part is and label it. For example, I've already told you that number one here is the cornea. So you can go ahead and label cornea right there. 
Um, one little thing that you can do is, many of you may know that the lens is clear as well. So if you wanted, you actually can um, put a hole in the lens if you like and add, to, I didn't do a great job here, but you can do that as well. I had colored it to try to make it look clear, but you can actually um, cut out a hole similar to what you've done with the cornea and do the same thing if that appeals to you. Um, so that's definitely um, something that you can do. So again, when you're finished, this is a pop-up eye, so you should be able to open and close it. You can glue the back here into your notebook um, and use this as a study sheet if you like. So Teacher Toy Shop has lots of videos on how to um, make cool science things out of paper like this, as well as other science experiments. So if you're interested, please um, subscribe to see more videos like this. Thank you.